Steve Ross says he spent nearly 30 years in politics, first on the Burlington City Council, later as mayor of that city. And then after that, he went on to the North Carolina House. Two years after losing a close race for the seat, Ross is attempting a comeback, says he's running in part on his history as mayor. I, I can truthfully say uh, over the years we've done that. Uh, we came from a city uh, that was reeling back then from the loss of textiles, uh, sitting dead in the water. Uh, we're a thriving city now with uh, loads of economic development. Ross says the Honda jet facility at the Burlington Airport was his first economic development deal as mayor, but says it wasn't the only one. Uh, you may or may not remember back when there was a water issue uh, and Greensboro needed water desperately, yeah. uh, and he would not run a water line and connect to Greensboro. That's one of the first things I did. I started expanding the community outward and the results are uh, economic development began to come in and we just turned things around. Ross went on to serve eight years in the North Carolina House before losing to Democrat Ricky Hurtado in 2020. Hurtado beat Ross by 1% of the vote. What reason did you not win in your mind? I think at the time, the atmosphere was one for change. Um, and I think when you get an atmosphere like that, people don't really look at the, the candidate as closely as they do maybe a party label or something. And, uh, and, and that's it's kind of sad. I think we really need to uh, look more at what a candidate has done. So how do you stand out in a crowded field here? Of th it's three Republicans running, am I right? Yes. yes um, well, I think that that one is easy um, because if you look at the two other individuals that are running, they are not uh, from Alamance County at all, popped in just within the last year or so. Uh, and neither one of them have uh, any experience at all in, in uh, elected office. Did you favor the uh, vaccine mandates, the mask mandates? That's a tough one because I think it's an individual decision. I wore a mask personally. I mean, I did, I, I, but I'm not going to tell you or anybody else that you need to wear a mask. I've had three shots, getting ready to get the fourth. Uh, but I know plenty of people. I have friends who have not had the shots at all. And Ross faces Peter Boykin and Ed Priola in next month's GOP primary. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.